Hey guys, Bitburner here. And uh, I wanted to show you guys some of my techniques that I use when I'm making videos. And so we've got Adobe Premiere Pro up and I just want to show you some of the tricks. And this is, you know, this is just stuff that would work with any version of Premiere. So if you even have an older one, most of the techniques that I'm using, um, you could use there. So I've got um, some basically some clips that I'm doing. I'm, so I'm working on a promo video for Club Ravine. So I've got some shots here of things uh, coming in and out. So if I just double click here, I can see these shots here. And I think I actually got one more that is not in here. Oh, no, I've got all three. There's another one that's actually outside the club. Oh, there it is. Outside the club. So this is, uh, this is a shot I would like to work on here and stuff. So... What I want to show you is like this is an extremely long clip. I just went around and did a lot of shooting around, just tried to get some real cool shots. You can see I'm jogging through here. So I want to take this and just clip it up real quick. And and so here's the mistake most people make. Most people move, do this. They put this giant clip down in their in their video, and um, the thing is huge, and then they actually uh, clip it up that way. So something like this. And then they would go and take, you know, try to find a tool like this razor blade and be like, OK, I'm just going to cut up this video in a bunch of spots. And this is how I'm going to edit my video. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to move this over and then I move this over and then I'm going to take this one. delete. So this is not really an effective way to clip up your videos um, before you get into your actually sequence. Your sequence should have your clips already clipped almost exactly where you want them. Uh, before they even get there. In fact, there's some secrets that I'll share with you guys later about how to kind of, you, you know, put out your sequence here in this in this view and change this view around um, so that you can actually put your clips somewhat in an order and actually see them, something like this. So, um, But right now, what I want to do is just take some little bits of this video right here and make some, uh, make some clips. So we have to understand that this is a preview window of this clip so when I double click or sorry it was this clip when I double double click on this clip it opens a window of this of that actual clip and so then I'm actually messing with this clip and I can find the sweet spots in this clip that I like so if I'm right here and I'm playing and I want to start right when it starts to move down now I've got this jog wheel here at the bottom that lets me jog to the exact spot I want and then I'm going to put a mark in and what that does is it'll mark that spot as a mark in. you see my mark in here and it actually says I can actually take a clip from here and just drag the drag the video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it play here try to find the very end of this clip all right so there it was but I'm gonna just rewind a little bit use this jog shuttle right here and get right to right where it stops right there and then that's gonna be my mark out so now I have a mark out and you see I have like this little blue thing kind of highlighted area in this clip. And so that is uh that is a mark in this in this clip. Now there's a there's a um a couple things you can do with this. You could just drag this clip now into your um project area. And if you notice this clip is only like um 6 seconds long. So it's not like this which is like f like uh almost 4 minutes long. Right. So this is very short. This is just this reference to this video. It's not this clip again. It's just a reference to this video. And there's not really a an icon that really shows this uh, there. But um, we'll we'll just remember and we can actually name it. Um, club crane one. Whoops. All right. So now that's our club crane one clip. There's also a button here to insert these into um, the, the workspace. So if I really like this clip and it's where I want to start, I put my jog shuttle here of my of my actual sequence and I just say uh, insert into the clip and I actually get my little clip there. So um, I can actually just drag it from here and and start to insert. But if I know I like that clip, I might and that's going to be my first clip. I'll put it there. I uh, Another mistake a lot of people make is they put their first clip. Um, right at the beginning so when they when they put their clip in they have it right here you shouldn't do that you should work out here because later you can actually select everything with a large selection and move it together and that leaves you room to do your titles or anything you want to add to the beginning so let me just show you I'm just gonna clip clip up this uh, video a little bit more go find um, 
my update's not working as fast as I want it to um, in this mode. So there's a good, there's a good shot right there. It's going to start right from the BBU. I like the, how it rocks in right there. So we're going to start right there in and about right there. I want to come out. So that's a good, that's a good little clip there too. You can drag this video. You can drag it there. We'll call this Club Crane 2. And I did notice I didn't insert it, so I'm just going to go look through this video for more clips. There's a nice sky one. I, the blocks weren't rendering out very well there, though. See, there's a nice side wipe here, kind of like that right there. I just want a little right here. I don't know. If... Let's try this again. Right there. So right there. It's a nice little wipe. I did the wrong in and out there. All right, right where it moved, right there. Yeah, I want to get it right where it stops going straight. Boom, see right there? So now we got our little clip. Now, this clip I'm going to insert because I really like it. Now, there's watch this. Watch out for this one. This one overwrites stuff. It'll overwrite audio that's in that area, and you might not want to overwrite. This will insert, and it'll move stuff around, um, around the clips and stuff, so that's really nice. So we here have a, we have a little thing here where we'll just watch real quick. Actually, in our sequence window. So we got our first shot here. And what I might want to do is, like, actually increase the the speed of that and you see there's a small flash there but it's probably because they're actually spaced out a little bit oops messed with the audio there oops need that clip again and notice i just dragged that down from here i don't have to use this button to put it down there i can just drag the clip i could drag the clip over here rename it and these are just really references in the clip that i can pull up any time to look at again and so sometimes when i get a clip a long clip like this I may not even build this part until I've got tons and tons of clips that I've looked at and seen and kind of made in my head uh, how I want them. I might change them to this and actually rearrange them here in kind of the order that I might want to see them um, in, in the actual layout. And that helps me kind of decide what I want to do with it. So I noticed that a lot of people um, that I've watched do videos and things like this, they haven't used these controls very well. So I wanted to show you guys how to use these and uh, there's other things you could do like set markers if you just want to kind of set where a marker is that way you can move between markers in a video. This is really good for really long video clips. You can loop, you can also set, um, maybe, the, maybe you want to set a boundary or maybe you're doing some titles. This really helps for my titles so I can center them on the screen and things like that. That does not show up on the video. This will have a bunch of other stuff you can see like your alpha channels and stuff like that stuff you don't really probably care about. So, hey, thanks, guys, for watching. I hope that helped.